Well, as an AMC, they built that guy in 1988. It's called the Riverson Mall. Well, my ladies up there, they even got a daddy in right there. there. So we got about that bad thing, you can own your own shop and a piece of turkey to open here for a right hand side, we call that Hooters. When they do that, Mona. When they do that. Her name is not Kim Kardashian. And she might have a big booty, but it ain't that big. We call her the Stargazer. Yeah. Now, if I could get everybody to look right back here at me, I ain't got no idea why. But people keep telling me that I have the perfect height for this job. Yeah. Now, we look here at the little white star in her hand. It's supposed to line up with another three stars in the night sky. Couple months from now. But if you look on Google, she's got some terrible reviews. People would have much rather seen either a Starbucks or a public restroom right there in that same location. <laughs> yeah. And here to the right, we got another statue. Anybody want to give a guess on who that guy might be right there? Anybody? I'm sorry? St. Anthony, absolutely. That's St. Anthony of Padua. Or in Spanish, more importantly, you'll be saying San Antonio de Padua. Now, that statue was gifted from this big Portugal in 1968 when San Antonio hosted the World Fair right here. Gifted from this big Portugal because that's where St. Anthony was born and raised. He's also known as a patron saint of long stance. So when you guys inevitably lose something, you know, we'll be a little later on tonight. Don't worry, guys. Let's go pray to him. Hope like that you get it back. Except I'm just kidding, I know I don't necessarily work like that. You at least gotta be Catholic first, right? <laughs> yeah. But if you left that on my boat, it's a whole lot easier to get back. I ain't gonna make y'all pray to nobody that'd be rude. Instead, I'm gonna send y'all to www.ebay.com. I'll sell it back to you at a small discount. <laughs> but if we look here to the right hand side, you're gonna see the church fire signal between the trees there. That belongs to the St. Joseph's Catholic Church. It was built there in 1868 by the German settlers who wanted a place to worship in their very own language. You can still go up there on the full Sunday of every month and still catch up all male choir singing in German to this very day. And right here, guys, this is actually what I like to call the most boring part of my tour because nobody cares about the city's chamber of commerce. Uh, Chamber of Commerce. Also trying to come down here and start a business. Well, damn, that's right there to the right hand side. So instead, sorry guys, didn't mean to give you a shower there. I can never see the wakes of the Chamber other day. Chamber of Commerce. Now guys, oh my goodness. It's getting crazy up there. Let me slow down a little bit for y'all. Yeah. Now, like I was saying guys, so instead, I actually prefer to open up the floor to anybody who might have any questions. Even if it's about my personal life, I know all about that subject as well. Yes, How many people fall in the river walk each year? About three a day. Three a day? Uh, as far as I've heard. That could be wrong. Well. Yeah. Three a day, that's really? Any other questions? Any other questions? The rest of y'all just going to sit there looking at me like I've just got on a jury duty. Are you okay? <laughs> it's all right. So the rest is, going to be this like you know, right, right, we'll talk about it a little bit more later, but we're taking a left hand turn just like NASCAR. I don't know. He'll say it. Off his man makes it to the river, onto the natural San Antonio River. Now, if you look here to the right, we're going to see that there's a little bit of a hill there. Now, if you look here to the right, we're going to see that there's a little bit of a hill there. Now, if you look here to the right, we're going to see that there's a little bit of a hill there. Now, if you look here to the right, Unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know that much Spanish. I really don't. But I do know Palacio del Rio. It means palace on the river. <laughs> now, that hotel, it was actually built there. In, uh, they started building it in 1967. But they wanted it finished by the time they hosted that world thing in 1968. So they had to come up with a fancy new way to build this guy. Because building it only a year. Hmm? And conventional methods. It was almost impossible to get done on time. So they came up with a fancy new way to build that guy. They built it modularly. And what they did was they built the first floor door. And they handed their location off with the elevator shaft, everything else. They built on an assembly line. About eight blocks away from here. And when they built those rooms on that assembly line, they put everything in them. When I say everything, I mean absolutely everything. Of course, you got the normal stuff like the plumbing, the electrical, the toilet, the back of the seat, the towels, the carpet, the wall, the paint. Then they had everything else in there as well, like the bed, the dresser, the sheets, the towels, the soap. The coffee maker, everything down to a kitty and Bible in the drawer of the nightstand before they loaded those cups. Rooms up on top. my stand, I gotta put the it mic down. down here. Yeah. Stack them one right on top of the other. That's why when you look up there, they all look like little cookie cutter boxes. 
Yeah. They built it in a record time of only 202 working days. That is a record in the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, do the math on that, guys. That's just, with just about seven months. This little ticket booth we just passed right back there took them about 18 months to build that guy. Yeah, there's only one room in there. Yeah, there's 500 in here. But the biggest difference between the two, uh, it was built by the neighbor company. It's called HP Zachary. That was the Look at that. It was built by the city. Yeah. Now, if we look here to the left hand side, we're also going to see the little west side. It's a La Vita. Now, once again, I'm sorry guys, I don't speak that much Spanish, but I do know that means little village. Yep. Yeah, the only other phrase I know is going to be uno más cerveza, por favor. Chicken cerveza is delicioso. Boy, the explorer taught me that last part. Now, La Vita here, that was actually the first neighborhood right here in San Antonio. That's where the Spanish soldiers settled in 1722 that were stationed at the Alamo. It's also where Santa Ana had his head in line during the Battle the of the Alamo in 1836. And right here, guys, we are it's still inside of La Vita, Selena, but this is actually called the Artisan River Theater. It was built here in 1941. If we take a peek here oh. to the right-hand side, you're going to see the stage with those five bronze bells behind it. Anybody want to give me a guess on what those five bronze bells might represent? Anybody? Nobody? Man, y'all weren't ready for this to be a trivia tour now, were you? <laughs> That's okay, they represent the first five Taco Bells right here in San Antonio. <laughs> yeah, except I'm just kidding, they represent the five fishes. The big one in the center represents the Alamo. Now that stage right there, it was also in a movie. It was in a 2000 film starring Sandra Bullock. Oh, Anybody know the name of that movie? Miss absolutely. They shot my favorite scene of that movie right there on that very stage. It was a bikini competition. And if y'all find it, those beautiful ladies in their bikinis looking off their tastes towards the river, give it a wink, don't get too jealous, guys, just because I was trying to fight. Yeah. Now oh, we look here to the right hand side, you're going to see the Mexican yeah, cowboys, who are yeah, cowboy yeah. with his bowls there. Now, from what I understand, the Spanish word for it is vaquero, and that's I, I exhausted my Spanish there. That's all the words I know. Yeah. Now, that statue it actually belongs to the Briscoe Western Arch Museum. Now, originally this building it ended up opening up, opening up in 1930 as the city's public library. It was there until about 1968 when it moved to Bitford Hill. Yeah. It then became the Hertz Bright Circus Museum. Hola. 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 It was pretty dang creepy in there. And they even had a hallway Hola. full of puppets and clowns, we called them. Monday? Or Hola. Hola. Yeah. They ended up closing down Hola. in 2001. The building sat vacant for a few years before the Briscoe opened up there in 2013. Now they got some pretty cool stuff in there, my favorite. It's going to be a full wrist award. Well, Fargo Stagecoach. They also got the last known saddle, a punch of ear, and set the Anna Ceremonial Sword. Now, don't worry about smacking your head on this bridge, guys. It was built in Berlin. That's not the one y'all are thinking of. It was built in Berlin, Connecticut. Yeah. Now, if we look right here to the right, you're going to see this little, little white duck. That is the Aflac duck. Yeah. He don't say quack, he says Aflac. Like yeah. He's on this little third shaped diamond. That's actually formed out of the roots of this tree. Now that tree is a ball cypress tree. Now was the site of the first Catholic mass on the river. It was held on June 13, 1691. My father Damien Nassanet, who's represented by the table sculpture there. June 13th also being the feast day of St. Anthony or San Antonio. I gotta turn this down just a tad so it stops squealing at me. Yeah. Okay, now I shouldn't squeal at me no more. Y'all you, can still hear me, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, don't call me sir. I work for a living. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's actually the story of how the river... And it's still squealing at me. Yeah. That's the story of how the river got its name. And you didn't know the uh, city is named after the river, not the other way around. But we also call that marriage island because we have over 300 marriage ceremonies every single year right there on that very island. When I've got a live one in the background, I'm always like... I don't squeal. Oh my goodness, my Got a lot of feedback. Close to the speakers. Okay, got this to me? That was good? Squealing. That better? There we go. That's better. Alright, like I was saying, when I got five one in the background, I'm always like, don't do it! <laughs> yeah, because about three years later, you're going to see my hand on the other side of this tunnel. We call that divorce island. <laughs> yeah. Except I'm just kidding, guys. That's not even a nine. Well, between marriage and divorce islands, we call this the love circle. If you're out of here with your significant other, you could go ahead and give them a kiss. If you're out of here with your brother, let's just keep that to a high five. <laughs> this is not Alabama, guys. 
Do so I have any Alabamas on board? I am just kidding. Yeah. If I don't have any Alabamas on board, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I wasn't paying attention, honestly. All right. And I see how it is. Ain't nobody gonna give their boat captain no love. I didn't even get a high five. Oh, too late now. We're already out the tunnel. We'll make y'all walk the plank just there. Yeah. So we look here to the right. We're gonna see the West End Hotel. That guy. Not very historically significant, but they got some pretty cool furniture in there from a 17th century European castle. Oh man, do these guys know how to party? Because if we look right here in that tree, somebody partied a little bit too hard and they lost their pants. Yeah, I don't know how you party that hard, but that is partying way too hard. Yeah, they're up there. They've been up there for like three months. I don't know, I don't know how they stay up there. Yeah. So we look here to the left hand side, we're going to see the great big old tall building with the American flag up top. Does anybody recognize this building from any movies? It was actually in two separate movies. I'll give you all some hints on this one. The first one, <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Looks like King it. Kong. King Kong, right? Yeah, the second one, who we all going to call? Ghostbusters! Yeah, it looks so familiar for both those movies, don't it? Oh, it Except I'm lying. Both those buildings are in New York. The faces, you know the faces. not actually in any movies. I'm just pulling off legs. Look at those movies. Because just like those other two buildings, there's Show a whole bunch of gargoyles up there at the very, very top. Yeah, now what you see on the gargoyles up at the very top, we're also going to look right here. Underneath these second story windows, you're going to see a whole bunch of ugly faces up there. We call those ugly faces grotesques. Yeah, those grotesques, they look a whole lot like my ex-girlfriend. Oh, that's sad. Now the guys that built, or excuse me. Yeah, now the guys that built that building back in the 1920s, their names were Robert and Adley Irons. And they were very superstitious too. That's why they put the gargoyles and grotesques up there. They were tipped to scare away evil spirits and bad business. But unfortunately, that didn't end up working out for them very well because what happened in 1929? Y'all are cheating. I am too. Come in 1929, they just gave you the answer. You don't know. Oh, thank you, Mr. 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 Mr.
What? Well, they sound like I'm not gonna get that built, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. It's a whole lot cheaper than a pair of bolt cutters and a brand new lock every single time. Now back in 1921, guys, we had massive flood here in San Antonio. It ended up putting the downtown streets of the water at about 8 feet. And unfortunately, it ended up killing over 50 people doing several millions of dollars worth of damage to the city, so we never wanted that to happen again. So San Antonio, the hired of Trump's a guy, his name, Mr. Robert Buckley. Now he came up with a flood mitigation plan for our river, which includes those five flood gates, as well as the main flood tunnel we're sitting here right now. He came up with these plans in 1929. He even got up a proof for the city to bury his name here. But my buddy, right here. What happened in 1929 that he couldn't get a flood mitigation plan? So, I'll leave it to your hand. Same answer. Same answer. That was the question? Yeah. No. I still can't really understand. Yeah. You gave me a hard time. Oh, it's a crash. Oh, English is not your first language. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my fault. I'm sorry, buddy. That was the beginning of the Great Depression. Yeah. Yeah. I'm over here, my phone's facing right there. And I understand everybody gets distracted right here because fire. Yeah, that is just... A tiki bar, okay guys? Just a tiki bar. They did bomb the doctor of Pirates of the Caribbean movie though, so those were in there talking about uh, Edward Hurt. Otherwise they're going to talk to the river. Except I'm just kidding, guys. They don't want to get sued by Disney either. Just a tiki bar. Hey buddy, can you take a seat for me please? Yeah, thank you, thank you. And here to the right, we got the Esquire Tavern. The oldest bar on the river. These guys opened up here. In 1933, literally the second the prohibition ended. So the visit ended on December 6th, 1933. That bar opened up on December 6th at 1201. The reason they were able to open up so quickly? They were a speakeasy. They were already fully stocked. They were disguised as a barber shop. He went in and you asked for a bar shop. They also got a long one-top bar that stayed in Texas for 100 feet long. Oh, beer. So, one. Now if we look right here to the right hand side guys, you're going to see this other boat captain in the pink shirt right there. His name is Jonathan. I want everybody to wave and say hi Jonathan. Hi Jonathan. Yeah, I hate that guy. <laughs> yeah, I hate that guy. I'm just kidding, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. <laughs> now he's actually here at the Aztec Theater. It's another one of my docking locations. The third of them we're going to see today. Now originally that was built there in 1926. Playing silent black and white films like Charlie Chaplin films. And legend has it, if y'all listen real close, you might even still be able to hear those films to this very day. Yeah. Now, my buddy right here in the glasses. They also got the same chandelier hanging in the lobby. That was a stop there the same day the stock market started crashing yeah, in what year? Is that good enough for you already? So I need to slow down. What year did the stock market start crashing? Do you know? No. It's 1929. Yeah. 1929. Okay, I want everybody to give a round of applause anyway. Thank you for letting me pick on you. Don't give them a round of applause. Y'all are mean. I'm for you. Look right behind us here, guys. We just went underneath the most famous bridge on the San Antonio River. Does anybody know what the, uh, that bridge is called? Uh, the bridge. Nobody? Oh man, I remember my first margarita. <laughs> now the proper title for that bridge is called the Hudson Bridge. But you know what I call it that? Five more commonly referred to as Salinas Bridge. Because the living could be the very famous St. Hollow superstar. She was proposed to right there. On that very bridge. On that bridge. Except, unfortunately, that's just a rumor. Ain't nobody know for sure. Otherwise, they have a black back there for her or something. But we do know the bridge did make the bridge from the 1997 film, Salina, Origin of the Bridge. Now, as we come off from the other side of this bridge here, guys, I'm going to have us look to the left hand side and straight up in the sky. We're going to see what appears to be a free 
And right there where that bubble gum says, guys, that was the board. Woo! That's what you're going to cheer. We're going to let the bubble gum board. Yeah, so get out the want to see food. You just go ahead and kill it. Yeah. Now, the rest of the hospital, guys, it was actually bought out by Marriott. They're trying to turn it into a hotel. It might very well be the newest haunted hotel right here in San Antonio. And right here in front of us, guys, you're going to see those double glass doors underneath that side. It says the shop of Paseo de Alamo. Now, that guy's is the home of my very most favorite super cheap fit shortcut. Because they put in the room, I spent a lot in that hotel. Off the stairs to the street level, right on the other side. That is a faster train from the river walk to the Alamo. Now, the higher agency has a bit of an interesting story in and of itself because they started building that guy in 1981. Originally, I wanted to build their hotel. Call it the more rooms you got the hotel, the more money you can make. Back up the city ended up saying no. They ended up doing some shadow testing on the building while it was under construction because they did not want a new shadow to be cast upon the island. So they cast them off at only 16 stories. Now, right here in front of us, guys. We're going to see the second most famous bridge on the San Antonio River. Does anybody recognize that bridge? Second most famous anybody? bridge. Anybody? Nobody? No. Man, I ain't bringing none of y'all with me to trivia night tonight. Uh-uh, y'all yeah. gotta go home. Yeah. That's okay though, this bridge, it ain't from nothing. Yeah. The second most famous bridge because it's part of our tour. Yeah, you like bridge too? Part of our tour. Yeah, I guess we'll cross that one when we get to it. We'll look at the left hand side, guys. You're going to see that little sign that says Cafe Ole. That is the home of the largest margarita on the river. They've got 16 ounce margaritas. they got about 16 shots of tequila. If you try to drink one of those on your own, I call that a good military nap in a glass. Cafe Ole. There's a reason they come with two straws, guys, and it is not to drink it twice as fast. Yeah, it's for sharing, yeah, it's just sharing, it's sharing. Yeah, Especially when it's in your book, that margaritas, they're delicious. And right here in front of us, we got a Mickey Mouse. Did I Mickey Mouse? Did I Mickey Mouse, puppy? Bye, Mickey! 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 The very first restaurant on the river opening up here in 1946. 1946. Oh, there you see. The lady with the glasses. The one with the glasses. But don't make eye contact, guys. They are very dangerous. Especially if they ain't got their food yet. Even more so. If they ain't got their booze yet. Now back in the 1940s and 50s, guys, we didn't have a whole heck of a lot going on on the river. All we really had was Casa Rio and the Esquire. That was about it. We didn't have all this tourism like we do today. That it starts in about 1968 when San Antonio hosted the world. Hey, we call it Hemisphere. And we actually built this portion of the river. We just turned on to by down to that bit. Because we wanted to use it as another avenue of transportation to help get some of our seven million visitors to and from the fairground. Because of course we still had boats on a little back then, they just weren't these fancy. The electric boats were driving around it to see they were not the most style boat. Like the ones you see in Venice today. And talking about boats, we all want to see how fast this boat can go. Yes, because this is it. Yeah, this is all the booze right here. My 90 year old grandma can walk faster than this boat. Yeah, it's probably one of our slowest boats in the fleet, so thank you for bearing with me, guys. It's a very slow boat. You like cruising? Yeah. 
Now we look here to the left hand side. You're going to see that great big old tall tower that says Marriott across the top. Oh, that is the Marriott River Center Hotel there, guys. It was built there in 1988, but we don't care. That's boring. Yeah. Oh, we actually care about us. That was there before. It was called the Fairmount Hotel. It was built in that exact same location in 1906. So when they wanted to build that Marriott there in 1988, nobody wanted to tear down the Fairmount. So instead, these crazy people here in San Antonio, they just decided they were going to move the whole thing hotel. So now, to the same, the Fairmount Hotel still holds the record. And they get this book of world records of the largest building to be moved through city streets on pneumatic tires. It took them six days to move that hotel. Only six blocks to the Alamo Street location where it still sits to this very day. I hear the right hand side so guys. You're going to see this freestanding tower behind the rock wall. That guy is called the Tower of the Americas. It was built as a centerpiece of the World's Fair in 1968. It's over 700 feet, feet tall. It was the tallest tower of its kind at the time. It was beat out in 1996 by another tower just like it in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was called the Stratosphere. Now there's actually 958 stairs to get to the top of the Tower of the Americas, but don't worry guys, you can still take the elevator. But there's a record set for climbing every single one of those steps in only 5 minutes and 18 seconds. That record was set in the 1980s by a 16 year old high school kid. Probably a pretty long legged one at that. There's two floors at the top of that tower. The first one, an observation deck. The second, a pretty pricey restaurant called the Tart House. Okay, we just a second here, guys. If I get pushed over, small back to the right. Yep, there it goes. That happens where some people come out a little fast. I get pushed around by their wings here. So let me get us all straightened down. Well, like I was saying, guys, there's two floors at the top of that tower. The first one, an observation deck. The second, a restaurant called the Chart House on motorized floors. It's been real slow, so you to get a full view of the entire downtown San Antonio area. Yeah. Now, guys, we're coming up on my least favorite part of the tour. It's the part I like to call the end. Yeah. Okay, the dragon, the dragon, the dragon, the dragon, Eli. Hola. Dalia. Hola. Vente, Ira. Venga. Ay, se caen. Tengan cuidado. Vamos a ver el álamo. ¿Eh? ¿Vamos a ver el dragón? Sí. No, el dragón no. El álamo. ¿Eh? El álamo. ¿Qué es eso? Acá, mira, ven. Ven, mira. ¿Qué es eso? Eh, acá, mira, ven. ¿Allá está? No, no corre. No corre. Dalia. Hola. Hola Dali. Dalia. Vente. Vente. ¿Vamos para la casa? No. Era ahí con el policía. Vamos a ver ahí con el policía, ir ahí enfrente. ¿Eh? Sí. Esta policía, sí. Ven. Hay dos policías. Dale. Dale. Mira, ahí está, ahí está el álamo, mira. Ese es el álamo, papi. Ese, ese edificio. Mira, ven, dame la mano. Ven. Mira, esa. 
Ven. Mira. Mira el tanque. ¿Eh? El tanque, mira, si ¿sí lo ves. ¿Dónde? Ahí, mira. ¿El carrito? Sí, es un carrito, es un tanque. Ven, dale, vamos a ver otro allá, mira, ven. Dale la mano a Dali. Mira, ven. Ven. No, no, así no, papi. Dale la mano. Así. Ven. No, no tengas miedo. Mira, ven. No, no tengas miedo. Mira, ya está otro tanque, mira. Mira, ven. Vamos a ver acá el mono. Dale la mano a Dali. Dale la mano a Dali. Ese que está acá. Mira, vete. Mira, ese mono, mira. Mira ese, ¿qué es ese mono? ¿Eh? Mira este mono, mira. ¿Quién es? Un señor. ¿Pero cuál señor es? ¿Mm? ¿Quién es ese señor? ¿El David Crockett? No, no, no. No, I'm recording. Thank you. Vente. Mira. Mira quién viene. Stranger danger. Espérame. Yeah, hold on. I'll record this one. ¿Qué eres tú? Okay. Ponte ahí, siete ahí, Dali. Siete ahí. Pero abrázalo. Esa cosa dice do not touch. You ready? Papi. Papi. The one, two, the cheese. Dale. Ahí está. Ven, ven, mira. Va a tomar una foto acá. Va a tomar una foto acá. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Ven, espérame. ¿Qué es eso? Mira ahí, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Mira. Porque estamos viendo esto y la ven. ¿Qué es lo que había visto? ¿Esto es la ría, papi? Mira, papi. Mira. Levanta mami. Vente para acá. Ahí. ¿Va a brincar? Vente. Brincale aquí. Brincale. Eso. <ríe> eres un. Eres un chango. Un huerco chango. Levanta mami. Oh, tú eres Spider-Man. Oh, ok. A ver. ¿Cuánto mami? Ajá, era mami. Ven. Ven. Ven, papi, la cira. Papi, ven. Ven. Yes. 
Sweetheart. 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 I know. He's in the background. Di hola. Hola. Di hola. Dale, di hola. Di hola, Benjamín. Di hola, Benjamín. Di hola, Benjamín. Gente. No, ya no, ya vámonos. Agarra la mano a Dalia. Papi, agarra la mano a Dalia. Sí, porque luego te vas a se puede venir para otro lado. I like it when it's empty like this. Yeah, more relaxing for me. I don't have to stress about somebody trying to take my babies. Did you ever find a restroom? ganando ay Está ganando Sweet heart. Oh, thank you, hon. <laughs> I love it. I love you. Fine. Eh? Yeah. Come on. ¿De regreso o qué? ¿Ya vamos de regreso? No, no hay saludos, no, qué esperanza. No, no, pues ya, porque lo más lo voy a aportar el teléfono por aportar. Sí, guau, guau. Dile, Julio, qué esperanza. Dice que el sonido ya es. ¿Vale? Me da mucha risa por un día. <risa> Vamos de regreso. Oh wow, look at that. Look behind you, look at that uh, Ford Bronco. It's white. Oh, the truck blocked it. There you go. That's nice. A usted le preguntó, ¿cómo está? Y usted dice, de Houston. Le digo, how are you? No, she did ask. No. She said, she said, how are you? Estaba saludando. And then she, she, she said, oh, you're from Houston? Because he said he's from Houston. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Thank you, Paul. Ahorita le llegamos, ahorita que se ponga a ver de salud. Una, dos, tres. Dele. Mira, 
Mira papi, las carretas papi. Mira papi, mira papi. Mira el caballo. El palacio del río. Sí. Ahí nos quedamos May y yo. También. Está bonito ese lugar.